In this module, students are sure to have fun as they learn principles of design and color, apply multiple design techniques to bring to life whatever can be imagined, all within a Caribbean context. The visual and interactive design module has two specific areas which require us to delve deeper. We will go through the creative process used to develop an audio video product and then we will look at the process used to develop an animated product. Let's look at the pre-production process for producing an audio video product. The planning or preparation stage can be tedious. Don't worry, you can handle it. As long as you have successfully catered to all the production needs, you increase your chances of producing a quality product. The first step is to decide what kind of video product you would like to develop. At this point, students can brainstorm to come up with their best idea or teachers can assign a topic or issue to be covered. Now that you have your idea, a storyboard will help to solidify what your video will look like. What is a storyboard? It is a pictorial representation of each shot in your video. It has a list of your various types and timings of shots to be used, along with any dialogue. There are many free templates available for creating storyboards. Here are some considerations for your audio video production. Ensure your equipment is functioning or has enough power. A video can be shot with basic equipment like your cellular phone camera or an inexpensive video camera. Some elements of composition should be adhered to. Rule of thirds, looking room, framing, depth and dimension, and lighting, all of which will be explained. Rule of thirds is based on a simple concept of dividing your screen into nine equal parts with two vertical lines and two horizontal lines. It is widely believed that the human eye gravitates towards the areas where these lines intersect. Using the rule of thirds to guide your video or photo shoot can improve your composition and balance. Looking room allows the subject enough space in their foreground, especially when the subject is moving. Framing is one of the easier composition concepts. When we have a favorite photograph, we often place it in a frame so as to allow for an exhibition or to show it off to our friends. In the same way, framing uses objects to block out other scenes and draw focus to the subject. Framing also adds another layer by placing objects in the foreground. This increases the depth and dimension of the shot, thereby making it more interesting. With lighting, look for the color, direction, quality, shadows, and highlights of light. All of these factors will help you to place your subject in an area where your light source will illuminate evenly. Light is broken down into four different categories transmitted, reflected, soft, and hard. Transmitted light is light which passes through a substance like the Earth's atmosphere, a curtain, or leaves on a tree. Reflected light bounces off of surfaces at an opposite angle to which it came. This can be quite useful if you use a reflector to light a subject not facing the light source. A light source is said to be soft when it is larger than the subject being lit. In this case, the light is diffused and has soft edges and shadows. Many times, soft light enhances portraits by lessening minor imperfections. Hard light appears small but is very harsh, like the sun. It has very high contrast, that is, it gives large shadows. It reveals textures, though, if shown at the right angle. Some of the best lighting comes from a combination of these categories. 
A good time to shoot outdoors is during what is called the magic hour, which is 30 minutes before and after sunset. Here are two additional tips to produce a video product. One, take a hike, meaning do a recce or a reconnaissance mission of where you'd want to shoot. Look at what will be in the background and foreground. Be aware of any objects which may distract from the subject. Two, always envision the end result. Think of all the shots you will need for your video and then capture those, along with most if not all other shot sizes. For instance, if you are shooting from a close-up angle, also shoot medium, wide and long shots. Now that you understand the basics of preparation and production, get out there and breathe life into your imagination. In closing, teachers, there is no need for high-end professional studio equipment and all the accessories. The intention in this module is for students to understand the basics of shooting a video and of movement in an animated product. Teachers, you should also be wary of videos used and stories told. Ensure they are genuine and not plagiarized work. Most of all, guide your students and remember to foster their creativity. Students. You can go as far as you wish when learning the various editing programs. Be curious, be creative, keep it Caribbean.